Hello everyone. Today on Mr. Dave's Science Corner, we're going to try to answer a question that I give you. So we are going to use what the scientists call the scientific method. We're going to come up with a problem. I want you to think about this problem. Use some of what knowledge you already have about the problem. And then you're going to make a guess, which is a hypothesis. And then we're going to actually do the experiment. So today, I'm going to ask you, will it sink or will it float? So in my jar, I have water, and the water is there so we can see that the object I place in here, if it would sink or if it would float. So I'm going to give you about five objects that came from nature. I'm going to ask if it sinks or floats. You make your guess, your hypothesis, and then we will see if you're right. Here we go. So here's the first one. Water, a rock. Here's our rock. Okay. Here's our rock. Everybody can see that. Everybody see that? There's our rock. I'm going to take it and guess. Take, make your hypothesis. And I think it sank. Okay, so our first one was the rock, and it sank. Okay, now I have another one here. The second one I'm going to give you is an acorn. Let's think about the acorn. Will it sink or will it float? Are you ready? Make your guess, make your hypothesis. Acorn, it floats. It actually floats. It was floating on the top of the water. Look at that. Our third object, let's see. Third object is something that came from the tree. Shared this with you a few days ago. It is what we call a sweet gum seed from, or seed pod from the tree, sweet gum tree. So let's try it, you ready? Let's see if this will sink or if it will float. Ready? Make your hypothesis and oh my gosh, it didn't sink. It is floating with the acorn. So we have a rock, we have an acorn, and we have the sweet gum tree pod seed pod. So now we have two things floating and one that sank. Let's start thinking about this. The two that are in the, on the top are really, really, they feel light. But is that all that we have to think about when we think about that? So let's go on. Let's see, how about a stick? Now the stick is a little bit different. It feels a little bit heavier. And I don't know. Let's see, what do you think? Make your hypothesis. Is it going to sink or is it going to float? Ready? And guess what? Now we have the seed pod, the acorn, and the stick that is really, really floating. Now, I don't have a lot of water in here, but you can see that at the bottom, it's still not to the bottom. So it is floating. The stick is floating. Okay, and let's try another one. How about a flower? This is a flower that we picked a few days ago. It's still healthy, but it's like getting a little smushed. So I'm going to try to take this now, and let's say a flower. Will it sink or will it float? Again, like you have been, make your hypothesis, and let's see. You ready? That floats. So we have the acorn, the seed pod, the stick floating. The only one that's not is the rock. Wow. So let's do, oh, I'm going to do one. Let's do two more. This one, a leaf. Okay, it's from a tree that I have in my backyard. I'm going to take that and let's see, you ready? I'm going to put it down in and that's floating. And if you've ever gone out to a pond, you might see that some of the leaves that are on the pond will float or stay above until they get really, really saturated. All right, so, or really, really heavy with water. So it is floating yet, but it'll slowly sink. And then the last one I want to do with you is the pine cone. Now let's think about the pine cone. Do you think that this pine cone is going to sink or float? Form your hypothesis, your guess, and let's see. Oh, I think, I don't know, let's see, ready? And it floats. So 
why did some things float and some things sink? Well, every item, every object has molecules, and those molecules are tightly pushed together. Everything's made of molecules. So if we think about the things like the rock, the rock is very, very tight with all the molecules pushed really tight together. So when that goes in, it's very dense, meaning it'll fall to the bottom of the water. A paper clip. What do you think? Now we didn't do a paper clip, but what do you think a paper clip would do? Paper clip would sink. Even though it looks like it's light and has whole holes in it, the paper clip molecules are so condensed and so pushed together that that would go right to the bottom. The other things like the branch, the stick, the acorn, they're pushed together with molecules, but not as tight. So they're going to tend to float. When you're out in the water, you'll see some water that has like a, a branch or a stick after a storm floating. That's because it's not as dense. It's not as thick. So what I want you to do, yes, as usual, I want you to go out into nature, take a walk. It's a beautiful morning. But if you're not watching this as I'm videotaping it, then pick a morning or an afternoon that's beautiful out. Even if it's not, if it's raining, as long as you have the rain gear on, go out and get five items. Try it. Get a jar, somewhat like this, or a big open, deeper pan that you can have the things float or sink. And then record it and tell me. You're a really good scientist because you're going to look at what you want to find as what would possibly work or not work. And then you're going to actually make a guess, a hypothesis. And then you're going to actually let the experiment happen. You're going to perform the experiment. And then you're going to record what they call data, but you're going to record what you see. And then you're going to conclude and say, all right, Mr. Dave, this is what we found. And that's what I want. I want you to record and send that to me on Facebook. So go out, be safe as usual, stay healthy, and please go out and find five objects in nature that will sink or float and then record it and tell me your results. All right, people, have fun today and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.